Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Cogan Tube. Today it's an unboxing of the Newton Interlight, aka the BL457. Okay, so if you follow us on Twitter, then you'll know that I was in a bit having a bit of a dilemma. Do I buy a neutral bullet or a neutral ninja? Done a lot of research, um, a lot of YouTube video watching, and people who have used both and were loyal to Neutral Bullet say that the Nutri Ninja wins hands down. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, it seems a lot more robust of a machine, and the blades in it look much, much better than Nutri Bullet. And from the reviews of people given, the results are a lot smoother as well. Now, one of the most appealing things about this was, got from Argos, remember this is model number, I'm just having a look down there, BL457, and it's the light version. This was $39.99. It says in the Argos catalog, or on the website, sorry, that it was reduced from $99.99. I don't know how true that is. You know, sometimes companies say that the price was high, maybe it was for one day, I don't know. But it was only £40, so that was an absolute bargain. That was a great deal. I think the new Bullet has a 600 watt motor in the standard version or 900 watt in the Pro version. I don't know if you call it Pro. Uh, this has got a 700 watt version, a uh, 700 watt motor, sorry. And you may have seen a deal in Curry's for, if you just give me one moment, I'll have a look on this. The Nutri Ninja Slim QB3001. That is saying it's exclusive to Curry's. It looks like another version of the Newton Ninja. It's also a 700 watt motor, but the blades I've noticed, and I went and physically looked at these blades, the, the blades were much thinner, so I don't know if it is as good as this version where the blades are the same thickness and full size as the more expensive machines. Okay, so if I open the box, little flap, I'll just start, give you a quick show around the box actually. So there you go, lovely picture. You get two cups in this one, a medium, which is 500 mil, and a small, is this small, which is 300 mil. Nicely packaged, great uh, Christmas present, or birthday present, depending on when you're watching this, for someone who's been looking at Neutral Bullets and Neutral Ninjas, because uh, that's really affordable, 39.99 I thought. It would be quite a pricey. Um, present for somebody, so you'd have to, it'd have to be someone special, but it's not a bad price, £40. So there we go, a little bit of instructions. As with any sort of juicy mixer, Nutri Blast thing, put your harder ingredients on the top, or put them in first so when you turn it over they're on top and they push down. And then inside there's a lot of flaps in this. There we go. I should point out that up until this stage I've been using this Breville, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's model number VBL062, just got a 300 watt motor in, it's, it's been alright, it does the job. Uh, you get two big cups of that. And I'll probably do a comparison video between the new Newton Ninja that I bought and that Breville machine. Granted that was like £25, the Newton Ninja was 40 but I think for that sort of price there is a, a good comparison there. Anyway, back to this unboxing. I've got an instruction manual. It's actually an assembly guide and recipe book. Let's have a look in there. Just a quick, quick squizzle. Loads of different things. It's well packaged in there. First box I've got is this. Just open that up. There's a 300 mil cup. Nice solid plastic. Measuring guide on the front there. You can see the screw lid. And I've heard that these these cups don't go like you can't switch them between the neutral bullet and neutral ninja and vice versa because I have different notches on. This is the 500ml cup, as you can see it's a bit bigger, 
just compare it side by side, so it'll be about there. That's a decent size for if you want to, to do a nice drink, 500 mil. Now, if you look at the size of the blade there, the thickness, that's really quite thick. What could I measure it against? This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, and I'm just showing you side by side. I don't know what the thickness of the Galaxy Note 4 is, but you can see side by side, those blades are really solid. And on the version in Curry's that I saw for this, exactly the same price as I paid for this, I should point out, these blades were probably about half the width of these. And they just didn't look as solid. These blades are comparable to the ones in the 100 pound machines. Now, I should point out that Argos have said this was a 100 pound machine. I don't know if it was or not. I can't see any evidence uh, for it being so. The only thing that I can say is it seems like it's exclusive to Argos, so there's not much information out there. Uh, I'm just happy that I got the new Ninja for 40 pound with this specific blade in. Because I could have got it from Curry's with two larger cups, but I think this was much better, much better value. And the blade, if compared to the Nutri Bullet, the Nutri Bullet has flat blades that kind of come down. These are sharpened, and they just look a lot more vicious. You know what I mean? There's bits sticking up, there's bits sticking out, there's cutting cutting edges on them. You know, you know they're going to do damage to whatever you put inside it. And in the Nutri Bullet as well, this is another reason why I decided to get the Nutri Ninja. If you see that little rubber seal in there, on the Nutri Bullet, a lot of people say when you take it off the cup, the rubber seal comes off. And also the blades, they're so close to the bottom here that it's impossible to clean underneath the Nutri Bullet so it gets clogged up with loads of stuff. Nutri Ninja, I'm not sure if this has a removable blade or not. Um, you can probably buy another attachment with the blade on, but it looks like there's enough space there to clean them. So that's really good. And then it just screws in there, and then it'll obviously attach to the machine. And I haven't got the machine out yet, so we'll have a look at the machine. Uh, the Nutri Ninja that was in Curry's looked like the base unit of, if you have a look for the Nutri Ninja 2 in 1 machine, 700 watt, it looks exactly the same as that but without the mixer attachment. You'll, you'll know what I mean when you see it, if you're interested in these machines. So here we go, this is the main machine. It's got a UK plug, obviously. This, there was no dodginess about this. This was straight from a UK supplier, Argos. I don't know how long they're going to keep them at this price for. I'm not saying rush out and buy one if you don't want one, but this feels like a really nice, solid machine, heavy, if I compare it, now the only thing I compare it to obviously is the Breville. But if I compare it, the, the motor in this feels so much heavier. And I get, I'm kind of saying that's a sign of quality. It just, it feels like the motor could be better. Um, on this you can kind of see the fans on the bottom. I don't want this to become a comparison video. It's more about the unboxing of the Nutri Ninja. This is a lid here. In fact, it's a very nice lid. Got the branding on the top there, Ninja. You just see that reflecting. And that screws in. And then, oh, great. It has a little flip on the top. And then obviously a drink out there. So there's one there. And then I've just found another. And that is the box empty apart from the plastic bags that I've just put in. So there we go. There's another lid. And that's the lid on the big beaker as well. I think they call them jugs, I'll call them beakers. That's really good. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll unscrew this. I'll put this blade back on. And that blade really is sharp. It really is sharp. Screws into there. Now I'm not going to turn this on, but you can see it just slots in. And there's little teeth on there. Line up those teeth. Slot it in. And then on this machine, you twist it into place and you have to press. So there you go, that's a nice, it feels, it 
just feels like a solid piece of kit. It feels like it should be more expensive than £40. And it looks similar, very, very, it's the same kind of design as a more expensive unit. So one in Curry's, I don't want to keep comparing it to one in Curry's, but it is comparable because they were the same price. The one in Curry's was a, a smaller design, I know it's called Slim. Um, which this just feels much more solid, like a really solid piece of kit. The blades are good and everything. Uh, 700 watt motor, so not as powerful as the more expensive machines. So, I think that's it for the unboxing video. I'll give you quite a bit of information there and my reasons for purchasing this over the Nutra Bullet and the other Nutra, Nutra Ninjas. I'm sure I'll do some more videos with the Nutra Ninja and the Breville just to do a little comparison, let you see them side by side what the difference is because the Breville's quite a big seller purely for the price point. It's around 20 to 30 pounds depending on where you shop. Um, the Nutra Ninja that I just bought, 39.99. So in terms of price, they're not massively different. So I feel quite comfortable comparing those two. Okay, thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye. Doing at the door. And you can see how bright that is. <laughs>